So we are here once again with the uh, iMac on our chopping board. Apple couldn't, well, tell me exactly what was wrong. So we're just gonna go to town and find out what was actually wrong with that uh, burnty white patch that was down in the lower section. So we've already pulled the front pane, uh, pi front pane of glass off. So we're just gonna uh, go ahead and pull out the logic board, see what was wrong, and uh, go ahead and see if we can actually fix it ourselves because that's quite an expensive machine. And we are inside, as you can see the uh, OWC SSD is still in there, but um, yeah, we're gonna get to the bottom of what on earth this stuff is, whether it's exploded on the other side and it's leaked through, or something has happened, because especially down here, there's uh, quite a bit of burnt stuff. So, I've looked up a tutorial, I think we have to unscrew the heat sinks off first, and then this whole thing just like folds forward, and then we go from there. I have really no idea. I think I need to pull out the RAM first as well, so let's get to that and see if we run into any problems because there's a ton of connectors all over the place that we're going to have to disconnect. As I continue to actually pull apart this system, I notice more and more uh, white residue just around this whole area wherever there's sort of power delivery, some here and also to down here. So. Maybe it's something I shouldn't worry about. Maybe someone's already corrected me down in the comments of the previous video, but ha hasn't been launched yet, so I don't know. But we're still going to continue uh, pulling apart to see what we get. And nothing is wrong at all. So this is where the uh, white spot is. None of these have exploded or anything like that, if we can uh, pull focus at all. Uh, none of them have actually gone and exploded. There's nothing wrong with the overall uh, logic board. I don't know, but what's interesting is apparently Apple included an extra SATA port. So you got one for your um, hard drive there, then you got CD drive, and then boom, extra one. So don't know why that's there, because I don't believe there was ever an option to have extra SATA ports. So I guess that's a cool feature we can think about doing something with. Um, other than that, I'm going to pull the heatsink off the CPU just to see if there's anything there, but um, we've got a mad little warranty void uh, if removed sticker, so I guess we'll keep that until something like that, but um, definitely have a look under here to see if there's anything wrong, uh, burnt out or something like that around the CPU section, because man, I have no idea now what the problem is with the system. Okay, so we have pulled the CPU out, and it turns out to be a socket 1150. So all of you who are like, oh my god, iMac suck, and rah, 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 you can't upgrade them. Well, at one point, you used to be able to. This is an i5 socketed CPU. You used to be able to go down to the shop, buy yourself a new one, and go ahead and stick it in there. It's a full socketed little thing with a custom Apple cooler thingo. So if we go over to here, go over here to our actual socket uh, 1155 motherboard, if that goes ahead and focuses, bam, 1155. Find the little gold pin on that side and we'll go ahead and drop it in and it should theoretically fit. There we go. All in and chuck that on and shabam! We have an i5 in this motherboard. So yeah, iMacs could be upgraded at some stage and if I wanted, ooh, whoops, I could go ahead and throw an i7 in but um, we'll stay off that one for today. So <clears throat> I'll stick this back in here uh, for the time being. Uh, but I still can't figure out what on earth is wrong with this system because the CPU looks fine The VRM around the system actually looks fine and Nothing's broken So going ahead and reassembling this Mac is like a piece of cake as Apple does an awesome job as just Labeling everything for example this one here. This one's right speaker because it says right speaker there This is left speaker because it says left speaker. We got optical disk drive fan. We got the temperature for that one uh, what else do we have? We have something there that I can't read. We've got a microphone input down there. Um, over here we have the CPU fan because there's a labelled CPU fan in the very small text down there. We've got the CPU temperature, all those kind of things. Everything is labelled and like all you have to do is trace the wire back and as long as you know what the part is, well it's really easy. Until I got down to this one where it says power button and I don't know where the connector is. And two days have passed since the uh, last thing that we actually did with this system. And as you can see, it's working. So all my great computer skills of pulling this thing apart, finding things and pulling like the CPU out and all that, turned out it was completely and utterly none of what I needed to do. And it turned out that it was just one of these two RAM DIMMs uh, didn't like com being compatible with the upgraded set that was in the actual device. So um, when I got this, it came with these two ones, which total of four gigabytes. I was doing a lot of video editing and those kind of things. Decided to add a little bit more to bump it up to 12. And for some reason, the other day, these two or one of these two or some combination of these two and the other two just flat out decided not to work anymore. So I pulled them out. And um, actually at the time, I only had uh, one in because I just wanted one bit of 
program in to actually get the system going, but and then it turned out, well, that was good. So, system has booted up. We can see that about this Mac, uh, it's only registering 8 gigs of RAM because, well, 8 gigs of RAM is what we've got in there at the moment with an i5 at 3.1 gigahertz. Now, the keen eye out there would also to notice that at the original video, our last video, I said uh, it's fully kitted out with a ton of RAM and an i7 and those kind of things. And you're probably thinking, hang on a second, it says i5 up there. And when we pull this whole thing apart, it also too said i5. And what's going on with that? I thought you said it's i7. And you would be exactly right until I exactly show you what happened to it. So this is the i7 that used to be in there that we featured in the... Um, how to delid your CPU video. So basically what happened to it was I took it out because I wasn't using it as much in the iMac anymore and I found it was a lot more useful in a standalone system so we decided to run it there. I had finished up with it and it started to have a few troubles here and there so I decided to go ahead and uh, do the delid video. That was all good and then I rolled over it with a chair and as you can see uh, if this would focus you can see that sort of scratch on this side right there. Uh, that has decided to kill the whole CPU, so that's a bit of a shame uh, that the CPU is dead. So, in here now is just an i5, 8 gig of RAM, so it's come down to sort of more your basic i7, uh, basic 27 inch version, and um, that's about it. So I still got to put the uh, piece of glass panel on the front, it's still not running with that on, but as you can see, we're able to download our browser, we're doing an update now to Yosemite, because for some reason the original install disk didn't install and I had to take the one that I created for my Hackintosh and uh, install off there. Um, but now it's running an SSD, it's a lot faster, it's a lot smoother and overall there's a lot less hiccups. So I'm going to finish putting in the screws on the side, I almost forgot to do that and uh, we're going to finish up this video. So we have the iMac nice and working and fixed and basically back to how it was. It turned out it was one of these two RAM modules that weren't exactly dead, they just weren't being compatible with the rest of the system. I tested them individually on different laptops and all those kind of things and every time I tested, all of the RAM sticks came back working and the system was able to boot. It just turns out that when these two are working with each other or with other RAM sticks, they just don't work for some odd reason, causing the system just to sit there on a white screen. The OS itself wasn't corrupt and the hard drive was working just fine and that white residue that I found in there turned out just to be apparently a common occurrence on some versions of iMac so apparently that's a thing. I could have tried to clean it off but that would have also to risk killing the system so we just left it as it is and would continue from there. On top of that I also chucked in a Kingston Fury SSD. That OWC one that we did have in there was pulled from another Mac and it was it didn't exactly feature trim or anything like that so it was starting to slow down over time but with the new Kingston SSD in there it is nice and snappy and super responsive just how it was I guess uh, out of the factory or actually even better because it had a mechanical drive there. It's a little bit smaller storage but overall seeing that a lot of new Macs are coming out with very small storage capacities I don't really see it much of an issue. If I did have to give my own tips and tricks to actually fixing your own iMac I would definitely say check the RAM first as RAM can do a lot more than you actually think so pull ones out just run with one see if something happens check your beep codes and also to run the Apple diagnostics like we did and um, which apparently will help according to the Apple call center that I called up when I tried to book this in for a service. If you do feel brave enough to go ahead jump into the system then make sure you have the right tools on hand as you saw in the video we had the iFixit toolkit here and some various other plastic spudges and various other things to actually get it open and I do have one more thing is make sure you have enough room in your space to go ahead and lay big panels of glass out because you don't want to be breaking any bits and pieces and other than that I guess that wraps up this video guys like or dislike the video accordingly let me know whatever you want to let me know do you want to see more repair videos like this or do you want to just continue seeing the other other stuff including our PC build guide that is coming very very soon we've just got approval for all that so thumbs up for all those good things while you're down there why not get subscribed to stay tuned to that aforementioned PC build as well as many other things we're doing on the channel thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time for another video